I know what you are thinking, your highness. You think me a disrespectful and disloyal dog of the same breed as Dong Zhuo. I understand why, of course. <laughs> and am I wrong? You pretend to respect me, but you are driven by ambition. I know your kind too well. Yes. Indeed. I admit I am an ambitious man. Our desires drive us. Our hearts drive us forward, uncontrolled. This leads to chaos. The current state of the land is a testament to this. I believe that we are capable of better. Desires can be controlled. Strength ruled with reason. Order can be restored. And now, I have a chance to realize this ambition. You wish to control the land? With strength and reason? Exactly. And. At the pinnacle of such a world, I require a true symbol of power and reason. I will need you, Your Highness. Rather than hoping vainly for peace, I may indeed be wiser to follow your plan. Well then, Cao Cao, as my minister, restore order to the land. As you command. here to celebrate your victory. But your highness, the danger to your person. With your army here, I feel perfectly safe. Please, will you all stand up for me? I wish to look into the eyes of these heroes. These brave warriors, they are your strength, aren't they, Cao Cao? My strength and my treasure. Therefore, as you are my master, they are your strength and your treasure as well. <laughs> I am truly blessed to have you as a minister. Use your strength to lead this land into a new age. My lord. Ah, 
First the south, now the north. We've hardly had time to breathe. The fault is mine alone. All of this is due to the mistake I made at Cherby. Come on now. That's not what I meant to say at all. Yet, it is true that my mistake has delayed our quest for peace. I begin to have concerns that it will not arrive within my lifetime. There's nothing to be gained from you speaking like that. And even if we do not live to see it, the next generation will surely know peace. Master Cao Pi is a fine young man. And my son has proven himself too. Hmm. Then maybe you and I should just be preparing for retirement. Now, now, don't be like that. The way I see it, we still have a thing or two to teach them. So, Guan Yu is no more. Son, you will succeed me, will you not? Father, just what has brought this on? Guan Yu's death signals that we have reached the end of an era. The era of myself of Guan Yu, of Yuan Shao. It was an era in which true men struggled for supremacy. I am sure that I, and likely Liu Bei too, will soon be called to join them. But you must go on, inherit my power, and lead this land the future it deserves. I can see it now. I can see you fighting bravely, driving the land forward. Listen, my son. You must move on and create a better future. Create a new age and lead this land there. Chaos has ended. Or rather, we used our strength to overcome it. The land and the people will now have ample time to recover and grow bountiful. The struggle to come will be the responsibility of the next generation as they strive to build a land based on the ideals of reason and understanding. <laughs> Human life is a short and a fragile thing. That is why we must sing and laugh while we can. To overcome that sadness.
and we must keep moving forward. If our path leads us into battle, then we must take up our weapons and face our foes. Oh, how brightly does humanity shine. This brilliance is the legacy that I leave. Yeah! <laughs>